What's up guys, this is Ashtag. Today we have a brand new hero. His name is Eligos. He's a fire ranger. He helps the team. He seems like he can do some pretty big single target damage on a two turn cooldown with the skill number two, which is a passive. But first, someone needs to go down. That's why I'm summoning him on my first account. High speed, high single target damage dealers. So we'll put him to the test. But first, I need to get him. So let's see my luck. It's going to be right after this. This video was brought to you by Amazon App Store and Amazon Coins. Where are we going? We're going on vacation! What do you mean? I didn't even pack my bag. Don't worry, I packed all your bags! Wow, but how much it costs to bring all this? It's not a big deal, I've been saving money with the Amazon App Store. Oh really? Let's go then! Wow, look at that view, it's amazing! If you're going to spend for Illigos, you should do so by using Amazon Coins. What's up guys, this is Ashnox. If you want to save as much money as possible with the best possible discounts, when you're doing in-app purchases in Epic 7, you should definitely be using the Amazon App Store. And don't forget, use my link in the description of the video or use my QR code, which is right here. Thanks a lot for your support. It's really easy to start saving. There's just three steps. One, get your Amazon coins. Two, get Epic 7 from Amazon App Store on your favorite device, Android phone, tablet, or even on your Windows 11 PC. Third, once you've done that, just log into Epic 7 through the Amazon App Store. Thanks a lot to Amazon for sponsoring this video. All right, let's do it up. Let's see how lucky I get here. So, account number one, let's summon. I do have bookmarks. I'll use the Sky Stones uh, if I need more. Okay, so Illigos, he's got an artifact, but I feel like Sash Itane, four star artifact, is just gonna perform better because you're getting combat this push for the whole team, including including the wearer, right? So this one, yes, it helps up to 20%, you know, defense penetration, but realistically you have just one, right? Uh so 15%. And then the combat shooting is an increase of the same amount, right? 15% CR push. For the hero that has the highest combat shooting, my beef, my problem with this is that the hero might already be at 100% combat shooting, right? So you're wasting value right there. You cannot know exactly who it is. Yes, you can tune your team and you're going to know who is going to get it, right? But Sash Aitane is just much stronger right anyone on the team that downs someone it's happening right and it's team wide so to me it's much more value the attack here is 273 maxed out which it won't be it will be at plus 15 if you just have one right but with sash i10 you're getting like 240 attack on it and it's easy to max out it's a four star artifact so i think that's the way to go this is not a limited hero Right, I'm getting him, like I said, on the first account. The right heroes are on the account. The right gear is there. So let's see what happens, right? So let's go X10. Oh, come on. Okay, here we go. Uh, I do have... I believe I do have the mo... I have to... I have to check. Uh, how many Molagoras do I have? I'm supposed to have them. There is no way. Um, consumables? Wait a minute here. Currency, no? Currency. Wait. Am I blind? Yeah. Oh, enhancing ingredient. It must be. Yes, okay, I, I have the Molagor. I have them. Okay, let's continue. Sorry about that. Okay, come on, Illegos. Be honest, I don't need his artifact. Because of the points that I talked about already, yes, the defense penetration, penetration could be nice versus a high defense target but he's using skill 2 against the uh enemy with oh with the highest um attack so yes it could be like an apocalypse ravi right a very tanky bruiser there we go we have his artifact so it could be a hero like that so yes the defense penetration could be good right and he's gonna trigger it probably before he can do the defense break because i'm gonna have higher speed heroes than him and also, he's got 124 base speed. Okay. That happened. And what is it? <laughs> okay. Are you kidding me? Okay, this is, has to be a... Yeah, it's a three star. that I don't have still. Guys, um... They're, they're trying to get me to test his own artifact. And... I don't know, we'll see what happens with the rest of the summons, but I feel like, like I talked about, Sash Aitane, 
Sash Aitane. Did I say Eliha's knife for some reason? That's for Teeth. Sash Aitane is for Ranger, and he's a Ranger. And I feel like it's way more powerful. First of all, his skill number three, it doesn't seem to have a high multiplier at all. It's about debuffing a target, right? And also removing uh, two buffs, up to two buffs off of them. Okay, so you need to build effectiveness on him. There, there's a few stats, I mean, quite a few stats. You need to build speed, you need to build effectiveness on him, you need to build uh, attack, crit chance, crit damage, uh, survivability, maybe, with whatever's left over. That's ridiculous. That is a crap ton of stats, and it's not going to be easy, right? He does get more damage the higher the speed difference with the skill number two. It's going to be important that you actually, like, take out someone with the skill number two. Um, there... Okay. <laughs> there, There's a lot of, um... Okay, this is his own artifact again. Three of them, are you kidding me? There's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of weight on his shoulders, like, for him to perform. Like, the, yeah, there's a lot of pressure. Like, he needs to actually bring a lot to the table for him to be worth bringing. Okay, uh, didn't have all these uh, three-star heroes. So, that happens. Okay. Um... Sasha Titan, much stronger, much stronger, easier to max out. Now, in terms of skill ups, right? I feel like you gotta max out the skill number two, the passive, and the the skill number three. I mean, getting minus one turn cooldown on S two, S three. Um, the damage on S two is very important. Like you need to get that for sure, for sure. Maybe I'm gonna have to pity him with that uh, artifact luck. Okay, let's go with that here. With that artifact log, I, I think I will have to. Right? It's it's pretty crazy. Ridiculous rates, though. Completely ridiculous. Okay. Here we go, and... Pity is the next one. So, let's go here. Here. Yeah, here we go. Pity, with the amount of artifact... Perfectly fine, right? But the artifact, like I said, do I even want to test it? Uh, I'm sure you guys want to see it in action. Now, you want to know who I am? It's probably better if you don't know. Okay, um, you know, Mafia Boss, we've seen him in the game since the release of the game, I believe. He's been in there for so long, right? So, uh, it's good that we finally have him as a uh, hero. Looks cool. You know, badass. Um, and uh, where is that thing? Not this. Here. This uh, is animation, right? So, you do have the soul burn here for the ignore effect resistance. So, if you have a mage that gives ancient book maxed out, you can put this to good use you don't need to build effectiveness but it's hard to make sure that you're gonna have it in uh in your team right so unless you go in a control environment you know who's right that's very nice uh, uh, very nice so unless you're in a control environment and you can guarantee to have the mage the guild engine book there's no billion then yeah that's cool right that's cool uh but in uh world arena it might not go uh, your way, right? So let's uh, let's just uh, skill him up, powering up, uh, power him up real quick, and then uh, I'll have the build in the showcase video. I'll have the build there because uh, it might take a bit of time for me to set that up. So uh, yeah, definitely stay tuned for the showcase. I'll have all that information for you guys, and I'll let you know what I think about him. I'll review him, right? Of course. And what I'm curious about is his damage with the skill number one. It's probably going to be... Uh, what? How? Oh. It's okay. I have a bunch of these. Let's just delete the... To be honest, I'll deal with his artifact after. Let me just power him up real quick. That's not where I'm supposed to go. Here. There he goes. Now, the thing is, he's got a nice memory imprint, but I'm not going to get a bunch of 
holes just to get copies of him. As you saw, I joined the 121 club, right? So we're not doing that. We are not doing that. He is not limited. I'm... I want to use an unknown slate on him, even though it sounds terrible. It's just because I need to activate the first one. Right? It, I want to activate the attack for top and back position. That's just going to be good. And uh, the best value is on the first one, of course. In my type of playstyle, attack imprint is pretty dang useful. So that's the issue too. This, I don't want to pull more of him. Like, I, at first I need to test him. Like, I don't feel so great about this hero, to be honest. So, yeah. Actually, this part I'll just do it later. Let's just move on to the skill ups and uh, that's going to be it. Okay, so here we go. Now, like I said, you need the minus one turn on the skill number two. There's no damage increase here. I don't even have the catalyst here. The rare ones ready. But here, the skill 3, to be honest, the combat uh, pushback on the enemy could be quite important for you to buy time for your heroes to get more than one turn if you're running a very high speed team. So there's that. The damage, not so much. So you could bring that to plus 5. You could bring skill number 1 to, well, just damage here. It might be a 187% uh, multiplier, the usual type of deal. Right, uh, so that's the flame. Right, we got uh, we got this here going on, and we need uh, quite a few of those, and I should have them. <clears throat> should have them right here. Perfect. Feels good to save those. Mm, probably don't need that many. I'll still go with thirty here. Okay. And what about the other one? I got it. I got it. This account has plenty of those. Okay. So. Like I talked about, right? The damage on the skill number 3 from the hero preview, it didn't look uh, too powerful. So, you can just get rid of that. Like, you you don't need to push further than plus uh, 5. So, you, that's going to save you some molas right there. And uh, you got a lot of stuff going on on skill number 3. That's the type of stuff you need to see because there's a lot of OP heroes, right? There's a lot of OP heroes that get released and those are the heroes that players like to use. Those are the heroes that get to become meta and a hero like himself that, you know, there's no guarantee. Um, you know, if he doesn't down someone with skill 2, if he doesn't land his debuff because he doesn't have the 20 souls, with the skill number three, maybe you, you don't have the stat line for him. He needs a lot of stats. And I'm actually bringing him to plus 15. Because that's actually what I usually do. So here we go. But yeah, we'll see how he does, man. I don't feel like he's going to be crazy. But we'll see. You guys let us know uh, about maybe his performance. Your luck in the comment section. Did you get Ellie Ghost before joining the 121 club did you get his artifact but like i said slash Itane man that's gonna be a very powerful artifact or even other ranger artifacts for himself uh, don't don't stress about getting his uh you don't have to get it from the power of knowledge shop as well i don't feel like it's gonna be a big deal you need multiple copies too to get higher values on it for both things the cr push and the penetration so yeah Anyways, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching and watching. Nice. Good luck with all you do. Peace out for now.